What's up, everybody? My name's Supercamp B, and this is my brother Chase, and this is Rose Talk Baseball. Keep that there. Fix it, fix it, fix it. If you're wondering what we're wearing, we're wearing some Rally Flip Caps. Shout out to Rally Flip Cap for giving us a couple caps to wear on the show. Flip, flip caps to wear. Flip caps. Uh oh, Chase. What's that sound? Do you, see, do you hear that? No. Our second giveaway. Rally Flip Cap giveaway. So what you're gonna win is two, not one, but two, two Rally Flip Caps. One for you, one for your buddy. All you have to do is like the video, subscribe, and Chase, what's the final thing? What do they have to write in the comment section? You gotta comment the team you think won the trade deadline. So you gotta like, subscribe, and comment the team that you think won the trade deadline. Also, don't forget to check out our Instagram page. We're gonna be running the same giveaway. So if you wanna get entered more than once, do it here, do it on the Instagram page, and hopefully you will win. Signed by Bros Talk Baseball. Baseball. Let's get into the video. Today we're gonna to be talking about the trade deadline, the teams that are buying, the teams that are selling, the teams that we don't know. They're on the fence. They're on the fence. So let's let's just start with the uh, the obvious buys here, Chase. We got them on the phone. All right, we got the Dodgers, the Diamondbacks, we got the Phillies, we got the Cubs, we got your Red Sox, the Brewers, Yankees, Indians, Astros, Mariners, and last but not least, the Oakland A's. And surprisingly, surprisingly, the Oakland A's make this, and I think it's because they've been <laughs> hot. Let's go to the sellers, Padres. <laughs> Reds, Mets, Marlins, Toronto, Tampa Bay, Baltimore, Detroit, the White Sox, Kansas City, Rangers, and Twins. That's a lot of teams that are out of it already. Jeez. Yeah. Now, let's get into why we're making this video. Guys on the fence. We have the Angels, the Rockies, the Giants, the Nationals, the Pirates, the Cardinals, and the Atlanta Braves. All these teams, as of now, Friday, what day is it, the 8th, 28th? The 27th, as of now. Those teams has not, they have not made major moves. Now the Cardinals have released some players and they traded for minor leaguers, but we're not looking at that. Yeah. We're looking at the teams, are they gonna sell? Are they gonna buy? Or are they just gonna do nothing? We have teams performing a little bit more than they were expected to. We have teams that are really underperforming. And then we have teams that are kind of set up in a nice position to where they could they could potentially buy or they could potentially sell if they want to. Like it's either or, they're not really like, they're not gonna get ridiculed for doing one or the other. The Angels, the Nationals, and the Cardinals are both all three teams that are underperforming. The Pirates, the Braves are teams that are overperforming this year so far, yeah. right? The teams that are right in the middle, I think, are the Giants and the Rockies. Cool. So let's talk about let's talk about the underperforming teams: Nationals, Cardinals, and the Angels. Nationals, I think they should sell. I think it's over for them, man. Bryce Harper, that guy can add a lot of value to another team, and they could get a ton of value by getting rid of Bryce Harper. Yeah, like the um, Chato value. They could get, yes. Plus, their their past postseason history has it's not just, been good at all. They've been dominant, and they still haven't been doing good in the postseason. So the fact that they're struggling now, like how do they expect to do good in the postseason? It, it's it's really a tough decision. I, I believe they're, they're going to buy. You think so? I think they're gonna buy, but if I were them, I'd sell. It's like, okay, Nationals, look at your team. You're, you're 500 ball. You got teams like the Braves and the Phillies who are above you who are playing really well. The NL wild card is stacked. There's a bunch of teams in the mix. Yeah. You gotta overcome all of that. And you might have the talent to do so, but you're looking back at the chemistry of Scherzer and, and Strasburg and them fighting, I mean, it's all going to shambles for them right now. Like So why would you why would you think they're gonna buy then? Why because that's that's what history's taught us. Is they, they they're buyers. They're buyers. No they're matter just going what for it. They no matter what, they'll buy, they'll buy, they'll buy. So Cardinals now. Cardinals. Buyer and selling. I think they're selling. Like I said, they got teams in Brewers and Cubs. Let's be honest, are they really gonna pull ahead of those two talent teams? I don't think they do anything. The biggest thing with the Cardinals is like, they're upset with the managerial decisions of this year. They're not upset with the performance as a team as like a talented, like from a talent standpoint. They, they've fired their manager already, yeah. mid-season. There's the ridiculous talks about having Yadier Molina just be a player manager. I don't know if you've been seeing that. They just need to like ride out the rest of the season. Next year, they come back with a strong coach to really lead them to a playoff run, and I think they're capable of doing it. Angels. 
They're selling. They've already sold uh, Maldonado. I don't know if you saw that. Really? Maldonado to the Astros. Oh. Who's got to They don't really have much to sell other than that, though. I, they have Kinsler. They have Kin yeah, Kinsler. I don't know if they're going to sell Kinsler because no one wants him. <laughs> now let's go to teams that are overperforming, the Pirates and the Braves. What do you see happening there with the Pirates? I see the Pirates selling. I can go back to the, the Cardinals and the national situation. They just got two teams that are in front of them far beyond more talent than that they, they have. They sell Vasquez, their closer. Do you think so? Uh, I don't think that's going to happen. Beyond the lines of like Mercer, like those types of players, like Sean Rodriguez, nothing big. They're, they, that, got, they got a good future ahead of them that they're not going to get rid of, like Marte, Polanco, Vasquez. They're not going to uh, sell those guys. Well, they also have Meadows who's coming up. I don't think yeah. they're going to sell big. They're not going to sell no. like a Marte or a Polanco or Tyon or something like that. I think they'll sell small because like right now they're, I don't think they do anything personally, but if they are going to do something, it's selling. I don't think they're going to go buy yeah. something because there's no reason. Now the Bra the Braves, they might have a shot at a World Series. They're yeah. buying. They're buying. Hundred percent buying. Yeah. They have nothing to sell. First of all. Yeah. Well. Yeah. They really have nothing to sell. They so, got yeah. young talent who's performing. That's why they're up in the in the mix. They're like the Pirates in two years. I think. Yeah. They need a couple of pieces that will help that playoff pursuit. Starting pitching is a big one for them. They got good hitting. They need that starting pitcher. In my mm -hmm. opinion, they go for Archer. And they got the prospects to do it. You know, that's all they've been doing the past couple of years is losing 90 games and getting <laughs> prospects. So, But all their prospects are in the LB now. Like, who else do they have down there? They, they have a lot of guys. Players. I trust yeah. me, they do. And now for the teams that are just right in the middle. Rockies and the Giants. Rockies, man, what can I say about them? They just, they're good, but they're not like amazing. What do they do? They buy. They buy. They yeah. keep buying. They have to. I mean, John Gray comes in, got nasty stuff. He's probably a two or three on, on most teams. And he has a five year A because he's in Colorado. They're going to lose John Gray the minute he becomes a free agent. That guy is not staying there. It's a matter of winning now, right? They're they're right there in the mix, though. I think they, they have bullpen trouble. Next, the Giants. Last team on the, on the fence list. What do they do? This is the biggest puzzle to me because History has it. They don't do anything. They buy. If they're doing bad, they just don't do anything. They're like, oh, next year will be good. And then they get someone in the offseason and sign them as a free agent. What do they do? They don't do anything. They don't do anything. <laughs> Although they should get rid of McCutcheon. They have to get rid of McCutcheon. I think they sell. They have to. He's a free agent next year. Yeah. He's not going to resign there. No. It's, it, it doesn't make sense for you not to get rid of McCutcheon. That's an MVP that you're gonna get rid of. You're gonna get so much value from him. He could be a great piece on a playoff team. Let's just be honest though. Do you see the Giants doing anything this year? No, no, they're they're fourth place. No. They're in striking distance, yes, but they're in fourth place in the NL West. Not nearly as much talent as anybody else in the NL. The Dodgers, race. the Dodgers have strengthened their team with Manny Machado, and the Rockies. They'll probably trade for a reliever. At first, you're in fourth place, and then all the teams ahead of you just got better. It's a no-brainer. We're not even being Dodger fans here. No, we're just looking out for the it's best. It's like the Nationals. Yeah. It's like the Nationals need to do it too. They need to pull the trigger on it. I even had the Nationals being in the top five power rankings at the end of the year, and now I'm saying. Yeah. I think Just I call it quits, man. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. As always, like, subscribe, and follow us on Instagram. And don't forget to enter into that Rally Flip Cap giveaway. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment which team is going to win in the trade deadline. And you will be entered for a chance to win your very own Rally Flip Cap signed by yours truly, Bros Talk, Bros Talk Baseball. All right. We will catch you guys later. Peace out. And I need ya. Yeah. And I'm down for ya. Oh, dude, it wasn't recording. Shut up. <laughs>